In this lecture, we are going to learn how to use the bind action creator helper function in the Redux application. Normally, we should just call a dispatch directly on our store instance. If you use Redux with React, React Redux will provide you with a dispatch function so you can call it directly too. The only use case for binding action creator is when you want to pass some action creators down to a component that isn't aware of Redux. Let me show you how to use this bind action creator helper function in the Redux application. I'm going to use my previous example to understand how this helper function works. So I'm going to use this reducer and this combine file. But before that, I'm going to create my action file. So I'm going to create a new file here and say here action.js. Inside this file, I'm going to create my action. So I'm going to say here export function add to do. I'm going to create action creator here like this. And I'm going to pass here parameter text. Just out of that, this action creator is going to return an object and I'm going to specify action type, which is add to do. And then here I'm going to pass text. Just for that, let me copy this function and paste it here. And I'm going to change this function to remove to do. Inside this text, I'm going to specify ID and I'm going to change this type as well. I'm going to say here remove to do. And I'm going to change this text to ID. Just like this. Just out of that, I'm going to back to my reducer. Inside my reducer, I have here a to do's function. Inside this to do's function, I'm going to have here a case add to do. You can notice here inside my action, I have my first action add to do. What you need to do is you need to create a remove to do inside your reducer right here. You need to create a second case of remove to do. That is the exercise for you. I'm going to leave this as it is and back to my combine.js file. Inside this file, let me just get rid of this functional component and now I'm going to create here a class component. So here I'm going to say react class component and then I'm going to get rid of this import statement. Just out of that, let me just export this combine using the connector. So let me first connect this class to the store. Let me get rid of the export statement and just down here, I'm going to say export default and then I'm going to specify connect inside this second parenthesis I'm going to specify my component so I'm going to say here combine like this so once I connect my class I can access the dispatch method using this class so inside this class I'm going to create a constructor like this with super method and I'm going to pass here props just down here inside this constructor I'm going to get the dispatch function so I'm going to say here constant using curly braces I'm going to say here dispatch is equal to props so this will just get the dispatch method from this combined component just down here I'm going to call the component lifecycle hook which is component date mount I'm going to just call this dispatch method inside it like this this time I need to pass here this because without this keyword I can't access the properties of this component and now just for that I'm going to use bind action creator function so at the top let me first import that function so i'm going to say here import in the curly braces i'm going to say from redux and from this redux module i'm going to import bind action creator just out of that i need my actions as well so i'm going to say here import star has to do action creator and I'm going to say here from in the single code, I'm going to specify my action file like this. So from my action, I'm going to import all my export functions and store that in this object. So I can access all my functions one by one using this object. Just for that, inside this constructor here, I'm going to say this dot bound action creator is equal to, and then I'm going to call here bind action creator helper function. And inside this parenthesis, you need to pass your action and the dispatch method. As you know, we have the action here, this one, to do action creator. I'm going to pass that here. So I'm going to say here to do action creator like this. And as a second argument, you need to pass dispatch method. So as you can see here, I have here a dispatch method. Let me just pass that here, dispatch. Now using this statement, I just bind the action with a dispatch method. Now, just out of that, let me just print. I'm going to say here console.log bound action creator like this. 
just down here inside this component did mount here i can just simply say let action is equal to to do action creators dot add to do and i'm going to just pass here a text call use redux i'm going to pass value to this text parameter just out of that once i have my action i'm going to pass that to the dispatch method so i'm going to say here dispatch and inside the parenthesis i'm going to say here action just like this that's it and now just down here let me just print to do's so i'm going to say here let in the curly braces i'm going to say to do's this dot props so from my component props i'm going to get the to do's property right now i don't have this property because i did not specify any function inside this connect we need to first get the reducer state and then specify that state to the component property to do that in the previous lectures we created a function called map state to props i'm going to do the same here but instead of creating a new function i'm going to create an inline function here so inside this parenthesis i'm going to first create a parameter state specify an arrow and inside this parenthesis i'm going to return i'm going to create a property to do's and specify state dot to do's so this will just create a property inside this component let me just print this to do's just down here i'm going to say console.log and print to back to my component and reload it as you can see inside my component this will first print my action creator you can notice here inside my action creator i have add to do and remove to do just out of that it will print the empty array and then print the action type now let me just leave everything as it is let me specify here comment now this is the bind action creator function and when the component is mounted i'm going to get this add action event now let me remove this bound action creator and just print this keyword and you can notice i have here a component inside it i have different properties and inside these properties you can notice i have here bound action creators this property is going to return two functions add to do and remove to do along with that inside properties you have your dispatch method so you can dispatch any action now here what if you want to create a component that is not aware of redux and you don't want to pass a dispatch or redux store to that component in that case you can pass this bound action creator property as well as your props to the child component so the child component can access the dispatch and your redux action for example let's say you want to pass your action and the dispatch method to your child component in that case you just need to call your component for example let's say i have here a component call to do list and to this component i'm going to simply pass dispatch property and then i'm going to say here this dot props dot dispatch just like this so this will just pass this dispatch method to the child component and just out of that you can just simply pass here curly braces and pass spread operator like this and then here you can say this dot bound action creator so now when you create your to do list you can access the dispatch method as well as your action creator now i hope you understand how to work with bound action creator helper function in redux next i'm going to show you how to work with redux toolkit